Hey everyone, my name is Nathan Payne. Welcome to another episode of Blue Ocean Crypto. Today we're going to cover a simple gameplay loop in Avalon that as a new player you can do. Because when you first get thrown into Avalon, it could be a little overwhelming, right? There isn't a map, you got to figure out what's going on, you got to kind of explore. This is a nice, simple gameplay loop to really kind of get you started, get a feel for the game, get some levels, get some bread, get some resources. So let's jump right into it. So first off, right now, the way that it's set up, and this could change, is when you first log in with your character, there's a bunch of different spots that you can appear at. There's two in Dragonheart. One you can see here is what you're gonna wanna aim for. There's another one by the portal. You can just re-log in as your character until you're there. And I would highly recommend that just getting started. And then I'll show you what we're gonna do. So first off, we need to head to town. Also, make sure to read these signs. They really help a lot. So we can tell Dragonheart is that way. That's obviously where we wanna be headed. Now, slight difference here, you're obviously gonna be level one, you know, instead of level 79 like I am, but the gameplay loop is gonna be exactly the same. So we're heading into town right now. And what we're gonna do first off is just find an area where we can start to kill some spiders wolves as well so we can start getting some experience but you're also going to need some bread in order to survive that so you do start off with a small little stack of bread so you can always get some of the kills first but let's grab a fountain buff we're also going to want to sit at the campfire so that we can up our stamina now you can usually do it in the opposite usually i like sitting at the campfire first waiting for my stamina to go up then I'll head over to the fountain buff. But we kind of did it in reverse. So you can see here my stamina and my MP are slowly increasing. Basically, I'm just gonna wait till I see that that goes up to as high as it can. I already know what that maximum is, but there'll basically be a moment where it stops ticking. Now you know you have the, that full buff. So you always want those two buffs. They last for 15 minutes. And it's definitely good to come back and grab them after every little while. So. Let's go grab some bread first because I know you start with the five and you can start the loop, but I think it's good just to get in the habit of this. So firstly, actually we need to go this way. So it was left from the campfire. And remember we're in Dragonheart. So we're gonna head over to where the mill is. Now there's some wheat that we can grab along the way. You can see the little speckles in the grass there, but there is a lot of wheat right by the mill. So you can see here, we're just gonna grab a few of these. And you actually get experience for doing this too, which can be a great little kind of start. And it's a nice little bonus for as you're doing it. We're only gonna grab a little bit cause I just wanna show you guys this as an example. So we got 16, there's a mill right here. Let's head in here. We're gonna make some bread. You can see it costs five grain. And then you simply go into your inventory, move your bread down to your queue so that you have it on your hockey. Now we're good to go for the gameplay loop. So like I said, we're gonna go find some spiders and some wolves, and I'm also gonna show you guys where some resources are that you can start farming, because you see, you can see we, st we only made the basic bread, but there's berry bread and honey bread as well. So what we're trying to do is we wanna to get to the temple in Dragonheart, and usually the easiest way to spot it is kind of by looking up. So we're just gonna take the main road back, Keep an eye on the sky. Ah, there it is. If you get lost, and you will, just kind of get yourself back to town. You know, and like I said, the, the temple there is a good kind of landmark. And there's a road right up here. Basically, what we're going to want to do is head around behind the temple. We can start the first quest, which is right here, Herod of Lincoln. So we'll accept that. This is a little harder. I wouldn't necessarily recommend you do it to start, but I mean, we're already here. Why not, right? So right away, we can start collecting some of these berries. This is gonna help us make berry bread. And there's honey here. Now these do respawn as well, <clears throat> but here's the spiders that we're gonna wanna start fighting. So this will be kind of how you guys can get a hold on the beginning of the game. You can start getting some experience. You can start collecting some honey and some berries. I already showed you where to collect some wheat. And this is all that you're gonna need to kind of get going with the game. Now, there are some wolves over here that can be a little bit tougher. You might have to use a fair bit of your bread, especially as you're at a lower level. But, and of course, pay attention to your stamina. You're obviously not gonna be able to kill the wolves as easy as I did there. 
So maybe start with the spiders and you can simply collect the wheat uh, back and buy the milk, collect the berries, collect the honey, rinse and repeat. This is a great way just to get your hands into the game, figure out a basic game, play loop, start getting some levels. And then of course, once you progress a little bit further, maybe once you're level 15 or level 20, you can start doing the raid, with raid one in particular, which is really following the chain or the quest. So I will show you guys that quickly. Basically the first quest that you're gonna end up doing, it's right here, so that's why it's nice and easy. You're gonna go through another pack of wolves. Make sure you're comfortable fighting wolves, obviously. You know, like I said, when you're, if you're right off in the beginning of the game, it's gonna be a little bit harder. Pick up everything. Uh, I don't think I picked up all the pelts actually from that first pack, so I was busy talking. But there's a white wolf that essentially we need to kill right up here. It's also surrounded by another pack. And there's going to be a white wolf pelt that drops. And that's exactly what we're looking for. And that's the first quest. Now I will do a separate video on the quest line to get prepared for raid one. But I wanted to show you guys kind of how to start a nice simple gameplay loop. So to recap, try to make sure you're in Dragonheart. You can spawn in lots of other places. If you are in another place, you can always look for the nearest portal. Use some Avel to teleport to Dragonheart. And then, like I said, once you get to the main town, go to one end, you'll find the mill. You can pick up some wheat, start making some bread, go back to town, find the temple. From the temple, you will wait behind it. There's the spiders, they're, they're perfect to start with. There's also the purple berries that you can start collecting the yellow honey this will help make better bread and really just kind of stay focused in this area in my opinion this is probably one of the best simple gameplay loops for starting out in the game okay hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'm going to be doing a lot more avalon content you know on the channel like i said we're going to do a whole video leading up to raid one how to prepare get involved in that and i'll even show you guys what that raid is like so that'll be the next one coming up thanks so much until next time cheers